uh, one of my friends on Facebook, he does the following post and then it has about 30 comments. And uh, so I want to read you the post and best ever listeners, I want to read you the post. And then I'm going to tell you some, something about my thought process and then I'm going to tell you what I responded uh, with. And I'm a little disappointed with the lack of, oh, wow, what a great idea, <laughs> Joe. Um, it, 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 I think it fell on deaf ears with all the people who are commenting. And, and I just want to get your opinion on if it was a good response and if not, or if so, or if not, why do you think people weren't like, oh, that, that's an awesome idea. So he, here's, the, here's what this person posted on Facebook. He he says, our five-year-old wants to do a lemonade and popcorn stand during our community yard sale this weekend. As her business consultants, we need to provide her some market research to help maximize profits. So we need your help. One, how much would you pay for a glass of fresh lemonade? Two, what size cup of lemonade would you like for that price? Three, would you prefer fresh lemonade from actual lemon juice or the fake country time the fake country time kind any and all other advice is also welcome so there's the question that was proposed and or the scenario with multiple questions that was proposed so let me give you a little bit of context about how i think so i went to a conference a couple years ago and you might have gone i don't remember if you went with me or not and it was in cincinnati and i didn't get a lot out of it except for this one speaker who and i think you were there um who uh, was just, uh, uh, he commanded a room very well. And he was the real estate guy. This conference was you know, personal development and other things, but there's this, this real estate guy. And one thing he said, which was tied into real estate, but it's really just business, is he has a kid. And um, his kid would get paid like $7 an hour to wash a car. But when the kid went on stage with him, and introduced him to the crowd, he'd give him a hundred bucks. And the, the lesson that he was teaching his kid was there are certain things that we can do in life or in business, that's a commodity, like washing a car where a decent amount of people can wash cars and you get paid a fixed price based on the market rate of washing a car, right? You're, 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 you, you have a, a cap on how much you can make. Whereas if you get in front of a, a room of 500 people and you introduce someone and you get, that, get those people excited, well, there's, there's not a lot of people who would choose to do that. And it's a, it's a skill that um, is, is valued uh, higher than, than the former. And so that's why he gave his kid 100 bucks to do that. And I, I really love that thought process. I love, I love the thought process that, you know, the, the market will pay you the value that you bring to it. And first off, do you remember that conference? Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, I, I do. Yeah. You do. Yeah, okay. I, know, so you, I know exactly what you're talking about. You, you know, exactly. All right. So we did attend this together. It was a couple of years ago. So that's always stuck with me. Always. So back to this question. Um, they're asking about uh, how much would you pay for a glass of fresh lemonade? Any and all advice, you know, what size lemonade? Do you want the real stuff, the fake stuff, whatever? Everyone who had responded, and I was like the 16th, 17th response. Everyone who had responded said something like, and I'll read a couple, um, real lemonade, maybe extra incentive from buyers if there's a little sign saying she's raising money, um, or a dollar for a solo cup of country time, or 20 ounce minimum with at least a dollar unless you make it so they can get quick change, a uh, dollar. Um, one more, I'll give you uh, both. Country time and the real deal. Real deal, more expensive. Um, so I hear all those responses. I read those responses, but here's what I say, and I'll, I'll just read you exactly what I wrote. I'd say that lemonade is a commodity that can be easily priced based on market rates, which limits her upside. In addition to lemonade, I suggest adding in a bonus gift for each paying customer that isn't a commodity, such as a piece of art she draws or colors. That gives her limitless upside in her price point. Isn't that great? Yeah, so <laughs> you're gonna, I got I mean, one. I got one freaking like. Like there were there were fifteen other comments after mine, and 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 no one it like fell on deaf ears. Like 
I, I'm thinking this is how, this is a great lesson you can, you can teach a kid or even a, a person. Like, don't do a commodity. Everyone's got a freaking lemonade stand. Do something that isn't a commodity. And it's like, oh, and I get this wonderful piece of art. Well, what's this piece of art worth? Well, a limitless, you know? I, I mean, what are your thoughts? 